More than a week after it vanished, and investigators are no closer to establishing the whereabouts of that Malaysian airliner. And while they say they're not ruling anyone out, they are starting to take a closer look at the pilot and the co-pilot. New images surfaced tonight of what appears to show the two boarding that aircraft. And today, more contradictions from Malaysian authorities after first saying the plane's last automated data transmission was turned off before the last cockpit radio call suggesting pilot involvement. Well, today authorities were backtracking a bit. Experts say turning off the transponder and then flying a 777 for hours, that required expertise, which is why there is intense focus on the cockpit crew. Believe it or not, the last time a huge plane simply vanished, it was flying over Lake Michigan 64 years ago. New tonight, we spoke with a local diver who searched for the plane herself and sheds light on how that disappearance compares to the missing Malaysian jet. When Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 went off radar more than a week ago, no one could imagine how a Boeing 777 could just up and disappear. But Darlene Larson knows firsthand it can happen. I was awoken by my mother crying. She did her best to try to tell me what had happened, that my father was gone and would not be coming back. In 1950, her father, Leo Wooler, was aboard Northwest Airlines Flight 2501. The DC-4, with cutting-edge technology at the time, disappeared over Lake Michigan, and the plane has never been recovered. Family members only have a memorial. It's hard to concept because you don't have something to hold to, if you like a funeral or a casket or a grave. Therein lies much of the mystery. Why was this plane so far off its course? Author Valerie Van Heest from Holland has scoured the bottom of Lake Michigan with the Michigan Shipwreck Research Association. Ten years combing 600 square miles, they've found 14 other shipwrecks, but not Flight 2501. There were a lot of speculations from a bomb uh, incident uh, to a hijacking to uh, uh, the pilots maybe making off with the plane. There was the same kind of speculation. The stark difference between the two missing planes, two days after Flight 2501 disappeared, human remains and debris began servicing on Lake Michigan. They knew their loved ones were gone. They could begin the grieving process. Now with Malaysia Airline, they can't begin. We're still holding out hope that maybe this was a hijacking. Maybe the people are still alive. And divers will actually be back out this spring searching for Flight 2501 between South Haven and St. Joe. While Van Hees continues the hunt for that missing plane from 1950, she says it's unfathomable that given today's technology, another massive airliner could just disappear.